The white dots on the screen, the adrenaline started pumping, and then Bond's turning towards the barrel and firing. When that comes on screen, it's like, to settle in and get ready for a ride. For me, as a writer and a director, it was essential to rediscover Bond. Where is he? After five years of retirement, who has he become? He's sort of a wounded animal, struggling with his role as a double O. The world's changed. The rules of engagement aren't what they used to be. The rules of espionage darker in this era of asymmetric warfare. The people close to Bond, those he considers to be family, are at great risk. And now there's someone new out there, more dangerous than anyone he's ever encountered. And whoever they are is smarter and stronger than Spectre. From the moment he's called to action to the end of the film, it's a race, not only to save the world, but their lives. No Time to Die is the culmination of all that Bond has become. With all that he's seen, all the trauma, the loss, what is that mission that would be his most challenging and most difficult? That was our target. We aimed to do something extraordinary with this one. Every Bond film has that thing. The danger, but also the emotional punch. Everything that was left unsaid will finally be said. This will be the final chapter for Daniel Craig.